I'm just here waiting for the doctor to get my port placed. Um, I'm really nervous. I don't know if they're gonna put it here or my arm. They did come to put my IV in and I'm just waiting for the doctor to get here so we can do the surgery. I'm so nervous, but it's all gonna be good. This is gonna be easier on my body when I'm getting chemo. So I will let you guys know how it goes once we do the surgery. Thankfully it's local anesthetic, so I'm not gonna be like under which is obviously a lot scarier, but let's see how it goes. <laughs> I did it, I'm out. <laughs> this is pretty much it. Oh my God. Um, it's about 10 centimeters long. <sighs> I, it, it, it's like sore, like it hurts right now, but it wasn't as bad. I think it was just the lidocaine or the global anesthesia that hurt um but other than that i did it and um let's get out of here this is the port when they were doing the surgery yesterday um i couldn't see anything because they just had this like blue thing over me but I did see the x-ray when I was finished and I saw that it would look like a button and then a string thing going towards like my heart and stuff. So I guess it's like they put the tube or catheter into my vein. So fun. It feels so weird to have like a foreign object in my body. Um, It scares me, not gonna lie, but it's what I have to do so yeah it was a little bit painful to sleep but I was so tired last night that I ended up just knocking out but it does hurt um it hurts to just be walking around and doing things I feel like it's less painful to be lying down I just touched it ah! I can't be like lifting things which sucks because I live alone so I'm just it was yesterday, I forgot that I had a Target order that I had to pick up, which was not smart, but I figured out how to maneuver around so I'm not lifting things. And then I had a package come, so I was just like opening the package and manually putting everything inside my house, like one by one, so that I'm not lifting things. Um, and then I'm also, you're, you're not supposed to wet it because obviously as someone who is immunosuppressant and um, you're not supposed to get any type of infection because you could die. <laughs> um, so you're not supposed to get this wet because it's going into a vein, like an artery. So if the artery gets infected, you are, fucked, you know, so the doctor did say it takes about two weeks for it to heal. And the procedure itself wasn't that crazy. I was awake. I felt it when they were putting in the numbing that's the part that hurt the most but i will say the actual procedure itself i was really tired they did put this type of like relaxing medicine in my iv just to relax me a bit but honestly i was already tired like before they put that in i was already falling asleep on the bed because i only had like three hours of sleep the night before because i was so nervous so i was just kind of like really tired while they were doing it it does feel very sore like that's how it feels like it just feels very sore right here i am supposed to go in for my second chemo treatment second round second treatment friday which is in today's tuesday so friday and they said that they're gonna be the ones to kind of change my dressing and i'm gonna see it for the first time Port. This is the stitches, and right here is the port. If you fill it a little bit, you can fill the middle. Oh my god, it feels so weird. Yeah, so that's <laughs> where we stick the needle in. Okay. So this is a numbing spray. It's going to be very cold, and I know it'll get to the point where you're kind of itching. No, I, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to poke you, and then... 
Well, that actually feels good. It does? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 not anymore. Okay. You wait till it turns <laughs> white. On three, deep breath. One, two, three. <sighs> That's it. And when you look for blood flow, that means we're in the port. That means we're good to go. And then this thing just paint a dressing so over it. So during uh -huh. the treatment, you don't get anything. You don't want to get it wet on that one. So I'm going to leave this top one open. And we take this off right after, okay? Okay. All right. I did this little makeshift um, band-aid situation because it turns out that wound, they didn't. Um stitches in so so I had to manually close it <laughs> because it's like open and then I got scared that it was getting infected and it was just this whole entire thing but you know this one is healing up nicely this are and then these all around it turns out that I'm allergic to latex and the tape that they put around me was irritating my skin so y'all so this is six months from the surgery I do still have a little scarring but that is pretty much normal what the doctor said is you have to leave this in about six months to a year I have to leave it in a year after my last chemo and then I will have surgery to take it out. So that was my six month update. I will say that there was one scenario where I had trouble with my port, which was about a week ago, two weeks ago, I wanna say, that I ended up going to the hospital because my port right after my chemo was in excruciating pain. And I found out in the hospital that um, Probably when the needle was inserted, it caused trauma to the area and it became super sore and swollen. And I was very scared that uh, something occurred internally, but all the tests said that I was good. Um, it was probably just trauma and that it will heal on its own. And it pretty much did. It did take about two weeks for it to heal. Just because when you're in chemo, your body takes twice if not three times as long for any normal thing to heal so it did take a while to heal but it did heal and that has been pretty much my experience now I feel like my port uh, is pretty normal uh, I don't feel it half the time I am a stomach sleeper I will say so that is a little uncomfortable to sleep on your stomach but other than that I want to say that I don't really notice it as much it is, of course, like when I touch my chest, you can clearly feel that I have like this button. Um, but what I did here is that this is actually a small version of it because there is a larger one that other um, people do have that I've seen in uh, chemo. So that's pretty much my experience. If you have any questions regarding the port surgery itself or anything cancer related, leave it in the description. Not in the description. <laughs> In the comment section down below i will do a cancer q a very soon where i will answer any cancer related questions thank you for watching and i will see you guys in my next video